Hello, I'm at Super Judge. Now, I want to thank specifically every one of you that took out time to um, send a message of, um, now yesterday was my birthday, praise God. Everyone that took out time to celebrate me and send out a message, a prayer, a thanksgiving, you know, for my life. I really, really appreciate you. And I know you're doing that because of the love of God that is inside of you. So you are even a confirmation of what we're talking about this week. So I bless God for your life. I am grateful and I thank God for his love. I thank God for the life. I thank God for utterance. I thank God for every good thing that he has given me. And that's what brought us into relationship. You see, most of the people I know today came into a relationship with me because of the word of God. And so I appreciate you. You are a keeper of God's word as God has given us grace to be keeping his word. So I, I really thank you. I'm, I'm just overwhelmed. Um, and I bless God for your life. And my prayer is that you will never lack celebration. You will never lack people that will celebrate you. You will never lack people that will celebrate you. And then you will never lack a reason to celebrate in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will never lack people that will celebrate you. And you will always have a reason to celebrate for the rest of your life. Nothing will cost money in your life, in your house. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So thank you very much. And God bless you. And like some of you are already aware, today is the wedding anniversary, ninth wedding anniversary for my wife and I. Praise God. Yeah, we got married on the 26th of January, 2013. Wow. No, yeah, 2013. So this is our ninth year. So celebrate with us and appreciate God for us. It's been a wonderful journey. And, and I'm so grateful for my wife. You know, for standing in faith with me, believing in me, and and she's just so awesome. Nine years, and we have four children that are doing so marvelously well. We celebrate God for their lives. And thank thank you for all your prayers. Thank you for all, you know, there are, I've, God has blessed us with wonderful people. I'm telling you, wonderful people who are real. We are real to, together. And... And we don't hide, you know, we have friends who would tell us, look, this thing is, I don't think this thing is right. And I go, okay. All right. Praise God. Yeah. It's good to have people like that. So we look at nine years and it's been amazing. God has blessed us. God has increased us. God has given us contentment and God has given us good relationship. Those things are priceless. And we honor every one of you in our lives. We just honor you. Thank you. Thank you. As though today is a day of Thanksgiving, praise God. Wow. Thank you, Lord. You are just blessed. You are just blessed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. Let's go into today's broadcast. But first of all, let's call for our daily bread. Say with me, say, Father, I receive right now my daily bread it's coming to me now in jesus name amen praise god now then all right we we, we are talking about walking in love now i told you yesterday we're gonna know what is love how do you how do you know okay this is love now simply put love is responsibility love is responsibility love is not oh i like you so much i cannot do without you oh i love talking to you oh i love visiting you now those are expressions of likeness you know but it is not the very core 
of love. Now, we talked about God being love, God being love. But then God being love, it's just something that's in our mind. Okay, God is love. But then how do we come into the practicality of what love is? Love is simple responsibility. Now, I told you yesterday, if God is not in it, Love is not in it. That's as simple as it gets. Love is, if God is not in it, love is not in it. No one can love outside of God. Why? Because love is a responsibility. And if it is a responsibility, one must have the ability to respond. See? So if there is no ability, your response is nothing. If you have a friend, for example, who doesn't have his, his, his job, cannot pay him that much, his whatever, his, there is no way. He doesn't have, he has never, now this is your best friend, but he has never seen one millionaire in his life before that is his own. Never seen. And then here you are, you have a problem that is gonna, you need like three millionaire to resolve. Now, no matter how this your friend, your best friend wants to demonstrate love to you, he cannot solve that problem for you. I mean, from himself now. Why? Because he doesn't have the ability for it. So you see, now, so when he tells you, look, I'm going to, um, I'm going to help you solve that problem. He can only say words, but that is, that is all he can do. See, that is all he can do. Why? He doesn't have the ability to solve that problem in your life. So that's what love is also. It is a responsibility. So if it's got, if it's a responsibility, there must be the ability, first of all, before we talk about the response. Are you getting what I'm saying? So that's why I said, if it is not, if God is not there because it is God that gives the ability. John chapter 3. You all know this verse. John 3, 16. Watch this now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now, as we share this, now we're dealing with the real thing, you know, walking in love. Now, as we share this, I, I pray the Spirit of God will open your understanding to the, your own application of love towards um, your spouse, your children, you know, and all those things around you. Now watch this, John chapter 3 verse 16 says, For God so loved the world. He so loved the world. Notice that God so loved the world. Now that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, here is God, and here is the world, and the world is on its way to perishing. And God wanted to solve the problem. So what did God do? God didn't just say, oh, I love the world. Hmm, you will not perish in Jesus' name. No, sir. He looked at the world that he loved, and he took responsibility. Now man had sinned and going to hell. Man has sinned and, and his life is doomed for destruction. But love, thank you Lord Jesus, took responsibility for man's action. Love didn't blame man. Love didn't say, if not that, you did this thing. You see, we would have had a wonderful time together. No, love didn't say that. Love took responsibility. Yes, you've done it. You, you are in this situation now. I'm going to cover it for you. That is love. But to do that, there's got to be the ability. So he he looked at he looked at the world and and he he figured out what is the bright what is the payment what is the price to save man, and then he looked at it to save man. It's going to cost blood. It's going to cost blood. One blood for every blood. So like okay. So what am I going to do? All right. 
I will produce I will produce what is needed at the time at the time God is taking this decision he didn't have a son Mm. he didn't have a son now this is why I'm telling you if God is not in it forget it love cannot come out from it there might be willingness but there is no ability so now God needed a son but he didn't have one what did he do he produced one (laughs) He, he produced one He produced one. Ah. How did he produce? Because he's God. (laughs) He's God. Praise God. Now, that's Ayabarakasha. That is the same way. Ah. When you when you dwell in God, so you, you cannot love anyone. Until you first love God. Now, how do you love God? You love God by dwelling in God. You cannot love anyone until you love God. You cannot love anyone until you love God. And I said, how do you love God? You dwell in God. It's not, oh God, I love you. You know, sometimes you're, you're singing and you're crying and someone's thinking you love God. No, sir, that is not a, that is not a proof that you love God. That is not a proof that you love God. See, that's how we mistake things. You know, because, oh, you are talking to a lady and she's crying. Or you're a lady and someone is talking to you and he's just, he's just doing everything. So like, oh, I think he loves me so much. Oh, can you, can you imagine? Can you imagine when, the way he behaves around me? No, sir. No, ma. That may not be the the most, that may not be the proof of love. No, 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 no. That is the expression of emotions. It's the expression of emotions. Now, people demonstrate emotions or express emotions in different ways. Some, some are strong, so they, they, you never see them cry. But it doesn't mean they love you less than the one or they love you less than the one who cries. No, no, no. Someone may be worshiping God and you, you don't see tears come down his eyes. It doesn't mean he doesn't love God as much as the one who's just weeping and, and you see all teary. And no, 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 no. Don't make that, don't make that mistake. Don't make that mistake. That is not the proof that love, that one loves God. It's not. And believe me, it's not. Those are emotional display, emotional outbursts, which can change. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? It can change. Because somebody's there oh, worshiping, oh, Father, because cause the, the song, he just likes the song. You know, oh, Lord, but she every day. You no, know, many years ago, I, I had a pastor then, many, many years ago. I had a pastor then who, who, who was sharing with us, and he said he went to preach. In this village, he was posted to this village as a pastor. So he, he, you know, he, to do evangelistic work, and then he gathered people. And so one day he was preaching, and there was this old lady sitting in the congregation. And while he was preaching and preaching and preaching, and 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 he he noticed this old lady was sobbing, and she was just sobbing and tears coming down her eyes. And then she, he, you know, he he felt he was making so much impact. You know, so preach. You know, he kept preaching and preaching and, and preaching and preaching. The lady was just sobbing and sobbing. And then, so after the service, he went to meet an, an elderly lady. So he went to meet her to encourage her. Said, "You know what? Don't be, don't worry. Everything is going to be all right. God is going to do it." And then she said, "Pastor, Pastor," he said, "Yeah." I said, "Pastor, you know why I'm crying? You know why I was crying during the service?" He said, "No, no. I really like to know." He said, "Pastor." As you stand and you were preaching, and I saw your goats, you know, birds here. Say, I remembered my goats that they stole from me some years ago. So that's what I remembered. I think was paid in here. 
<laughs> and a true life story. Praise God. And the pastor said, Whoa. Now, he thought this lady was demonstrating emotions towards God, but he was wrong. She was remembering her goats that got missing. Praise God. You see, so the fact that someone is crying and his hands is up, you don't just look and say, Ah, this person loves God. No, you may be wrong. You may be wrong. Love is responsibility. So you must look for the ability first before you talk about responding. So God loved the world. He responded by what? He produced the sword, which is ability. And then he responded to the call that the world needed by offering willingness. So the love is a combination, of, and this is what you should look out for before you say someone can love you. Number one, you must find ability. Number two, you must find willingness because it is the willingness that will make that will produce the response. There might be ability. If there is no willingness, you will not get a response. So you must look at these two things. I'm talking to you now, dealing with people. Before you can confirm that somebody loves you, you must first of all look for ability. Does he have the ability to love me? Then number two, you must look for the willingness. Is he willing? Is this person, will this person be willing to respond with that ability that he's got towards me? So we find God do these things and hey, now we find praise God because we had someone who loves us. Someone who loved us so much that he demonstrated ability. Praise God. Ah, my time is up. I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to continue on this. God bless you. Bye-bye.